What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back with another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, we do have some new content. We got some new packs. Are they good? They're okay. Um, Would I pop these packs? Probably not. But before we get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. That would be greatly appreciated, man. Please drop the sub. We're on the road to 11.5K. We're about 100 subs away from 100 thousand mt giveaway so make sure to smash the like button let's get 120 likes like i said if you want mt we are selling mt on twitter and ps4 so make sure to hit me up if you do want mt on instagram and twitter also man follow those social medias and i hope you guys do like the new intro i like it a lot i hope you guys do too but yeah we got new tatum jameson dale ellis and nerlens noel we're gonna go over them quickly we're gonna go over the price ranges of them and see what's going on on the market and whatnot man buzzer beater packs are trash I'm just letting you guys know. But here's the Tatum. Really good card. Only thing is, man, I'm telling you right now, Steel Perimeter at 92 and 94 is not good enough. I promise you it's not. I promise you, I promise you, I promise you. What I'm looking for now is 98, 98. And guess who has 98, 98 Perimeter and Steel? I've noticed one thing, man. My Lamar Odom has been getting burnt. This Eddie Jones right here is so P. And he has a 98, 98 Perimeter and Steel. I'm telling you right now, this card is it. I'm probably going to end up getting him. I think for the price, it's definitely worth it. I'm currently only 1-0 and 12-0. and Like I said, I went 11-0 and and lost on the error code. 12-0 and is the sweatiest game one I've ever played in my whole entire life. It is so competitive in so many different ways. Everybody has their own cheese, and I can't take it anymore. And then we got this Antoine Jameson. Power forward, small forward, 6'8". 96 three-point shot. Um, pretty decent. Pretty decent. Ah, he's re uh, I'll play my power forward, I guess. Even though he is small. It's hard, man. And also, if you guys don't know, Giannis is about to be Defensive Player of the Year. I love my man Giannis, if you guys didn't know. But, uh, yeah, this Jamison card is really nothing too special. He's all right. Um, Let's get us in market tomorrow. We're going to have probably some fire content. So, I guess this video is going to prepare you for tomorrow. So, we're going to go over to market. I'm going to show what's going on and whatnot. So... Looks like the market is at its price as per usual. It's pretty inflated, man. Like I said, Giannis, LeBron, Shaq. I know a lot of you guys have these cards. Please take Bugs' advice and throw them up on the auction. Like, two mil for Opal Giannis. I'm running point guard Giannis. He's about the same, okay? He is pretty much the same card. Um, He's been running on my squad for the whole year. Here he is, man. I've been running him the whole entire year. Ever since I pulled him, I've sold him one time and I got him right back because he's that good. And he's also 1.5 mil cheaper. So if you have Opal Giannis, man, get this one. You can throw him at power forward. I sometimes run the money line, put AD down here, power forward Giannis here, Paul George here, JR Smith here, and Wade here. That's the money line, in my opinion, if I really need to win. But yo, um, sell your cards today. I think today is going to be a very good day to sell. I'm not going to sell my cards because I have so much stuff in my collection I have to sell. I also have some of these snipes I have to sell. So, yeah, if I were you guys, if you really want to make MT, today's a really good day to sell your cards. As you guys know, as we get closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to endgame, prices will continue to drop. So, if I were you, I would definitely recommend selling cards. And also, if you're one of those guys with like 2 mil MT sitting here, if you want to make thousands of MT and make every snipe, buy every single buyable card, okay? It sounds crazy. Just do it. And also, the Kyler I pulled sold for 100K. He's around 80, 70K now. So if I were you guys, get on the auction. Buy every buyable card. If you have two mil sitting there and just snipe Galaxy Opal through the enabled. I'm telling you, you will make so much MT. It's crazy. So definitely try it out if you have two mil MT. It's a lot of MT. But yo, if you do it, you could pretty much get every single Galaxy Opal snipe in the game without even worrying about it. So I'm just letting you guys know. 2 mil MT, 3 mil MT, whatever you got. Buy every single buyable opal and thank me later. Put them in your collection. All the valuable opals you have, bring them into your auctions. And then you have enabled. Literally clear. 
You could literally snipe. I'm going to probably put Lamar, J.R. Smith, Giannis, Eddie Curry, Luka, um, Bol Bol, Paul George, Clay on the collection. And then I could snipe Galaxy Opals. If I sell all these cards, I could buy out every buyable Galaxy Opal and run the auction block. And no one's there to stop you. So it's just a method. It's a very expensive method. But if you guys do it, you make a lot of MT. But anyways, man, you guys aren't here for that. You're here to make MT now. So we're going to go over some snipe filters. We got the man, Dale Ellis. Reminds me of a Desmond Mason card. I don't know if I'm tripping, but uh, yeah, let's look at Dale Ellis's price, man. He's very good. He has a very good card. $99.99. His, oh my God. I hate when they botch perimeter and steal. His perimeter and steal's botched. He probably has a 99.3, correct? 98 three-point shot. Clay Day has a 99. This Dale Ellis card's pretty good. I just hate how when you complete domination, man, the Dale Ellis is no longer usable. They drop a pink diamond. Like, why can't they make it evolvable? I don't know. But man, this Dale Ellis is cheap. I might have to get some gameplay with him. So what you guys should be doing right now, there's a lot of good Opal filters. We're going to go over some of them. Uh, which one is it? I think it's Northwest. Shout out to Uncle Dre once again, man. If you guys don't follow him, he's the GOAT, man. He really is the GOAT. Northwest filter. We got Camp Kurlenko, Carmelo, Kevin Durant, and Michael Porter. So this is definitely a very good filter. Oh, Donovan Mitchell does ruin it. So if I were you guys, I would probably buy out Donovan Mitchell for around 70,000 MT. 69,000 MT. Buy out that Donovan Mitchell and you have this filter to yourself. And also, there is a Southwest filter. Oh, wait, no. Is it Southwest or is it Southern Southeast, maybe? Oh, man. I forgot the filter. Northwest Pacific? It's not Pacific. But, anyways, man, that filter is definitely very OP. There's a lot of good cards you can get on there for the low. Let's see. Is Central worth it? Central's no good. Southeast, no good. So, Southwest is pretty much the only working snipe filter. But now, once again, if you buy some of these cards and work the filter, you can make a lot of MT. Like, I mean a lot of MT. This filter is trash. I don't even know why this is even a filter. But, yo, Galaxy Opal Center is also a pretty good filter right now. And, uh, honestly, if I were you, I would probably go Pink Diamond Buzzer Beater. Because, yo, there is a lot going on on the Buzzer Beater stage. There's not a lot of cheap Buzzer Beater Pink Diamonds. This filter right here might be very deadly. So, if, you were, if I were you... Hop on the buzzer beater pink diamond. You could probably snag a Dale Ellis for very cheap. This is a very good method. Um, you can move up with your minimum buyout. That's what I recommend. Um, it's a pretty good filter, man. I would definitely try it out. See how it goes. It's pretty good. I'm going to have to say that also. Let's go on to some other filters, man. And also, well, I keep saying also, man. I'm telling you, sell your cards. It's definitely a good idea to sell your cards. We're getting closer and closer to endgame. I say this every day. But if you listen, man, it's going to pay off. I promise you, please, just sell your cards. I promise you it's going to work. And also, we did get the sick, sick, sick update yesterday with the Diamond Consumables. So, you could be making a lot of MT off these Diamond Contracts. If you guys don't know, since Opals are in packs, since Opals are fluent all over the game, these Diamond Contracts have dropped to around 14,000 MT. They were at 19,000 MT not too long ago. So, is it worth picking it up for 14? Personally, I'm going to try to snipe it for a little less. But 14 is definitely a good value for contracts, I feel. Contracts pretty much used to be at like 13k base. Now they're at 19k base because of the Opal. So if I were you, I think picking up these contracts for around 13k is not a bad idea if you ask me. Move up with the minimum buyout, 13.9 right there. So put it a little less. And yeah, I hope you guys do get some snipes on these diamond contracts. There's a lot going on in this game, man. You can pretty much snipe anything. Let's go over one last filter. It's the heat check filter, man. Heat checks are no longer in packs. They still hold a ton of value, especially people trying to do AD. A lot of people in my DMs are like, yo, how much MT do I need for AD? You need a lot of MT. And heat checks are now expensive, so they're around they're around 4K. So definitely, if you have some heat checks just sitting around in your collection, I would definitely recommend you guys do sell some of these heat checks. They're all at 3,900 base. 3,900 times 10 is 39,000 MT. So that's base card. That's not even checking any of their prices. So definitely... Heat check filter is definitely worth it, man. $39.50 base. That's a crazy price. If you ask me, definitely, definitely, definitely try out this filter. There's pretty much, there's really nothing else, honestly, I could say. Honestly, just sell your cards. Thank me later. Eddie Jones is a must cop in my opinion. This is T-Mac, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, that's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more content because we're going to probably have a video later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content. Have a good one, guys. Peace.